A transportation nightmare in Cobb County for thousands of its residents who live with disabilities. Broken down Cobb Link paratransit vehicles and long waits for those that are running. Getting nowhere while trying to find answers, one person reached out to 11 Alive and Bill Liss, as always, got right on it. This is our only means of transportation. For Michael Peak and thousands of other disabled residents who rely on Cobb Link paratransit, it's been an almost insurmountable challenge. Most of the vehicles are broken down or sitting idle. The buses are constantly broke down uh, with three, four hour waits sometimes. I have had to miss doctor's appointments, reschedule doctor's appointments because they couldn't pick me up or even just did not even show up. Pike tried to get answers. I have called congressmen, senators, my commissioner, commissioner chairman. They won't even return a phone call. So he reached out to 11 Alive for help. For Cobb Link Paratransit, it's been almost the perfect storm. Staffing woes caused by the pandemic, vehicles breaking down and the inability to get parts, even out of the junkyards, and up to a two-year wait to get new vehicles delivered. Just look at these numbers. Only five of the 30 paratransit vehicles are operational. Supply chain issues delayed 22 new vehicle deliveries for up to two years. But we found steps are being taken to address the issue. Cobb Link is reconfiguring three borrowed senior service vans to accommodate disabled passengers. Eight leased buses with ramps and lifts are on the way, along with six leased minivans. And Cobb County's Deputy Director of Transportation, Carl Von Hagel, offered Pike this promising update. We've got 14 vehicles coming beginning June 1st. We'll start to see that fleet coming into operation. We're having vehicles right now arranged to be driven down here from Indiana. And we'll be back in Cobb in early June to check on the progress. From Marietta, Bill Liss, 11 Alive News.